he obviously needs to be calmed down when he comes out to fight, not pumped up. Very chill music. Big cheer from the crowd comes up as Munesh makes his way. Munesh looking very lean. Clearly been it's training oasis, hard for this fight. Way. He's got a big crowd with him. Will that support help him? Will it push him forward? Will the pressure get to him? We've seen him fight before. We know he's a he's almost a seasoned fighter now. Definitely becoming one of the Battle Arena veterans. He looks to be in phenomenal shape here at this featherweight, this featherweight fight. He's just chilling out as well. Manesh got a very mistaken, good reach. Actually. This is the verb. This is Lucky Man. It's, it's a great a good song. song. It's a good walkout song. Manesh must be the, the longest arms on any 66 kilo fighter in the world. Definitely. They pretty much hang down to the ground. He never has to trim his nails just walks around. <laughs> Kev Flanagan representing Hard Knocks. Will he take Manesh to the school of Hard Knocks? Oh, <laughs> questions that will be answered next time here on Battle Arena. <laughs> Battle Arena. This is Nottingham Battle Arena. With our next show. Where's the next show, Steve? It's in the greatest town on the face of the earth. Dunstable. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a pretty pretty high recommendation. Actually, Dunstable is a lovely place. And if you get bored of Dunstable, you can always pop over to uh, Leighton Buzzard, where I'm from. You can have a great old time. We've got a weather spoon. Anyway, Munesh is here. He's looking very, very chilled. And one of my favorite things about the featherweight fighters, Chris, is that they just come with such speed and athleticism. They just seem to be right there in the in just like the correct margin for athleticism, speed, technique. You can't get by in the featherweight division on just power alone. You've got to be crafty. You've got to be quick. I mean, it's just definitely all those things roll into one. Kev Flanagan I haven't seen before, but I know that he'll be win he'll be ready to bring those various skills in. Hugging his corner men, getting his last instructions. A little bit of a rub down, and he's also bringing some long limbs. And these lightweight fighters, what tends to happen is they can keep going a lot longer than the heavyweights. The heavyweights sometimes just have half a round in them, and then they're spent... The lightweight guys right up to the bell of the third round. They're still swinging, still throwing bombs. Epic back piece of a snake from uh, Kev Flanagan. He's definitely winning the tattoo fight. spontaneous synchronization both fighters coming out southpaw interesting oh Manesh with a great leg kick and another yeah. one oh gets backed up against the fence by by Kev Flanagan Kev walked onto a couple knees there big kick comes seems to sneak through almost momentarily and a kick up the middle by Kev Flanagan whoa this is a real real fast start left hook sneaks through there for Kev Flanagan big le left hand those left hands on Southpaw fighters are absolute dynamite. The kick smacks in again for Manesh. Manesh could start working that kick. If that keeps landing, that could be big. Oh, nice great takedown. Up. Beautifully yeah, timed. Up. See Kev Flanagan wrapping the head there. Not exactly a great defense. But he could come up, he could also post himself up onto both of his hands and start crawling backwards. To slip out of this area. But right now all he's doing is just. You see, holding onto the head there, it doesn't, it means it stops you from being able to escape because you're kind of pinning yourself to your partner. You'll see a high level Jiu Jitsu fighter, they will let go of that headlock position and then try and make space so they can use their legs to escape. Manesh being patient. Manesh might be able to use the pressure this down. To, to step into mount. Sometimes 
Oh, very good reversal. Lovely roll there from Kemp Flanagan. All strength and all power there. He seems to calm down momentarily. He lands the left hand. Oh, Again. another big takedown. Huge takedown. Those takedowns will add up in the minds of the judges. Kemp has got to be careful. He has his, hit ch his chin quite high in the strike exchange on the feet. I feel like if Manesh could just slip his head out, he'd be able to Seems get to have, something going. He doesn't have the arm in on this guilty, but I don't think he ha has his hands locked up. And Manesh is in half guard. Very hard to finish from here. Yeah, it's very unlikely to finish. And if Kev keeps squeezing on this, he might end up blowing his own arm out, having too much lactic acid in that arm to be able to use and it for the, the rest of the fight. Arm. That's his left hand. That's the one that's really landing for him. Manesh being patient. Kev just holding on to his head. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get much going with it. Oh, he pops his head out. Manesh now on top, landing some heavy ground and pound. Big left hand sneaking through for Manesh. Now he's Full just mount. steps over in the mount. Is he done? I don't really think that Kev Flanagan has very much Kev is not here. intelligent in defending himself. He's just hugging him. He's taking a lot of shots to the head. Manesh now around Is Manesh the back. under the chin? Oh, he's, he's under, under the, the chin. chin. He's under the chin. Can it all be over? Kev's desperately trying to tough his way through. That's looking very deep. I think it could be done. Can he squeeze it? Oh, the heart of Kev Flanagan. He just slammed his way out of that. That's an oh, unusual yeah. escape. We don't teach that in Jiu Jitsu class very often. Oh, he's landing more. Kev's ground and pound defense is his chin. Well, you know what they say, when you can't block it, hit it with your head. <laughs> that was I, a very gutsy performance there from Kev Flanagan. I think Manesh thought he had the finish there. I stunned Manesh, couldn't finish that choke. I mean, he was under the chin, it looked like it was sunk in, but sometimes in these MMA gloves, it just it just gives that little bit of space. It's hard to cinch up chokes really, really tight. And Kev with the, the last minute hope of escaping, of jumping backwards, usually that just can just make things worse. I just wanted to see Manesh kind of stretch him out a bit more. I think he would have had it in that case. But here we've got a very, uh, a very open second round now because we're going to be starting on the feet Kev Flanagan was definitely getting the better of those exchanges his left hand was absolute fire but how much damage has he taken the problem is Kev is blocking all this ground and pound with his face he stood with his chin poking out stood up you know it's only his, his, his incredibly strong chin that's keeping him in this fight but he is dangerous in the feet he's throwing bombs and driving forward Manesh has got to be careful can show respect there. I think just Manesh has a little bit more mixing up on the feet. Well, look for him to land that leg kick again. Oh, great leg kick. Oh, timed Another it beautifully again. This time, did he get his head caught? In? No, he immediately slips his head out. Didn't get caught in that. That was a technically perfect double by all intents and purposes. Very, very smooth from Manesh. Fourth Dimension really making a statement here at Bow Arena, showing that they are a force to be reckoned with. Apparently that Fourth Dimension is just full of badass fighters. That's why I'm glad I exist in the Third Dimension. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's really he's got got to finish this fight. Arm, That's landing some serious punches here. It's really Kev's hard for a lot Kev of trouble to get mount any sort of defense. Manesh has those punches sneaking through. Alan Jackson really looking forward. He's sticking his arm out like he wants to be on, but <laughs> Oh, legs over. Legs over again. Oh, he snuck out the back. Manesh is straight back on top. Very smooth track grappling transitions. This is a, an incredibly difficult position. Kev Flanagan showing amazing heart here, but just doesn't seem to have the technique to mount any sort of defense from this position. Manesh doing well to cover the mouth and cover the airways of Kevin Flanagan to maybe make him desperate and sneak another big fight ending shot through. I love Manesh's corner. They're telling him to relax. Most people will be screaming when someone's in Mount Finish him, but they know that this could go to a third round. Doesn't want to blow his gas tank or overdo things. Just pick his shots, take his time. Doing something very interesting there with the knee. It was something that he's worked in practice before. Two right hands, neither sneak through. Kevin's doing a a stellar job of blocking things with his face. 
He's Manesh trying to. I feel like he's just trying to give Manesh's armor as a way out. He's just sticking that left armor like, please armbar me. Manesh is having none of it and wants to pound him to finish. It's incredible. Oh, is he out again? Manesh is. Oh, oh, what a comeback! He's on his back now, almost. Can he take it back? Can Kemp secure it? Has has Manesh punched himself out? <gasps> is he under the chin? I can't see from this angle. This, is so hard this would see. be the comeback of comebacks if he managed to come back and finish Manesh. Got big punches coming oh, through. Oh, Manesh back to his feet wisely. Kev Flanagan Looks, has. I think we're going to look for Manesh to time another takedown just like that. Wow. If you looked up Kev Flanagan's dictionary, there's no quit in that. Kev Flanagan. Not trying to mount any escape. It's the problem, Kev, Kev Flanagan's groundwork. It just needs a little bit of polishing. He's got the he's got the tough chin. He's got the heart. Now he needs to use to move his hips, slide his knee across, and then do some technical escapes. If he showed a few of those left uppercuts. I think he'd be a little bit better off. He put Manesh maybe off of shooting so much, but he just hasn't been able to time that so far. And we saw a second round that was really all Manesh. Fourth dimension just taking it to the hard knocks fighter. Could we see the comeback of comebacks? Kev Flanagan is two rounds down, maybe two 10-8 rounds down, but he's still in there. He's still throwing bombs. He seems to still have a little bit of cardio left as well. Has Manesh blown his gas tank? This is an exciting third round here at Battle Arena Nottingham. I love Manesh's composure. He came in calm, calm walkout song, very chill. Clinical destruction. Look for him to time another takedown. There we go. Both men noticeably a little bit more wary of each other here in this third round. Playing and looking to faint. I actually just playing just doesn't have any answer for that double of Manesh. Another great double where he clears the legs and ends up right in side control. And that's being a little bit more cautious now. Once again, Kev is just holding on to that head. It's just a survival mood. He's got to let go, get onto his right side, try and slide his right knee across. But he's reversed it the other way. Pure strength and athleticism here in the third round. Manesh is worried about his neck. He's trying to clear those arms. Oh, excellent work by Manesh to survive Flanagan. that. Oh, big knee from Kev. Knee up the middle from Kev Flanagan. We haven't had many decisions tonight. Manesh shooting again. Kev trying to get around that head. He's got to work on his wrestling defense. He's used the cage really well there to kind of stop the momentum of Manesh, but Manesh gets his arms together. He can easily pull him away from the cage here, and we'd end up in a similar position. I wonder how much Manesh has got left in the tank. Can he force another takedown? See him breathing heavy there. Oh, he's been caught up in the half guard. Kev has just got to stop holding on to that head. It's just not working for him. His corner have been very quiet. They need to start screaming at him for him to let go of the head and get on his side. But the Manesh looking to free himself on that side. Maybe pass in and do some more damage. Noticeably, a lot more fatigued are our fighters today in this third round. They've really given it their all in the first two. Both of them looking for finishes constantly. Manesh being much, much closer than Kev Flanagan in the last round. And this is the co-main event here at Battle Arena Nottingham. Get yourself along to a Battle Arena event. You get the best view, the best seats, and the best action. Oh, Kev just trying to hold that head again. He's got to start trying to wall walk, get to his side, do something. He's not mounting any sort of defense here that can be turned into an offense. And it's just showing that Manesh really probably happy at this point, feeling very comfortably ahead. Kev's corner screaming at him to stay strong. It's just not good technical advice. We need to see him looking for, for an underhook probably on that left side. If this was my fighter, I'd be saying try and get double underhooks, try and get your side, try and slide your right leg through back to full guard. Get your back to the cage, walk up, not just stay strong. He's plenty strong, that's for sure. There are big hammer fist lands for Manesh. A series of them as well. Kev is running out of time to do something. This could be three 10-8 rounds. There's 10 second warning. And it looks like 
Vinesh won't be able to get the finish, but Kev won't be able to get the... Huge victory for Vinesh. Fourth Art dimension. of dominance. Fourth dimension bringing it tonight. Really a three out of three performance. Just excellent. They've really established themselves as one of the, one of the teams to watch here at Battle Arena. I think the, the hard knocks, guys. We need to work on that groundwork a little bit. Work on the cornering in all honesty. Very great performance from Manesh. We'll be looking to, sit, to see him back here on Battle Arena very soon. This 66 kilo division here at Battle Arena, the featherweights, it's just so stacked. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what a great contest that was for our co main event of the evening. So after three tough battle action, we go to the traditional bar. And we have the winner by a unanimous decision for the fighter in our red corner. Yeah, first time. 